Good morning, friends. Today is day five of my 12 days of Christmas. I made this design, this little pinwheel design earlier this week with this card. And today we're going to make that design for a special little Christmas ornament. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, create our base. And I've got two squares here that are two and three eighths by two and three eighths. It is mossy metal cardstock. And I'm going to bring in my trimmer just to lay them on, to line them up. So I'm going to put the first piece. Um, I want the points to be on uh, lines. So this line and then this line here. And I'm going to take just um, one glue dot to help hold that in place. So I'm going to put that on the back of my cardstock and go ahead and line that up again. Okay, so that should just help hold that in place while I add the other one. And then I'm going to add some Seal Plus here. I'm going to take the other one, and I want this one to go straight across like that. And I'm lining up between these two lines. And then it's going over this line a little bit and over that line a little bit. So that looks pretty good. All right, I have that lined up. And then I have four pieces of the beautiful Season of Green and Gold Designer Series paper. And I've used that smallest square in the Stylish Shapes dies to die cut these pieces. Let me show it to you. It's like an inch and an eighth, one and an eighth inches. And this is a wonderful set to have um, with the circles, uh, squares, and banners all um, stitching around the edges. It's so pretty. So I'm going to start with uh, my liquid glue. From This is from Stampin' Up. I just have it in a um, glue press gun from My Sweet Petunia. So your first little square, you're only going to put adhesive on this side, on the right side on the back. And you're going to lay it down just so there's a little edge going around. So this is open because we're going to have to slide our last square into there. And then this one. And we're just going to go all the way around this layering it. Okay, so our last square, we're going to put adhesive on the back of it, and then we're going to lift that up and slide that into there just like that. should come down just a little bit. All right, and for our center, I'm going to put a little mini glue dot or mini dimensional right here and I'm using a little star from this is a, a little bit festive um, ephemera pack I'm going to add that little star right there in the center center of our design just like that now let's put this let's layer this up I've got my I have a piece of our gold foil and I'm going to adhere this to it this is um the gold foil is die cut with an eighth largest deckled circles die 
and the white circle is die cut with the largest stylus shaped circle. And again, if you place an order with me between now and December 10th, I will you will get the free um, tutorial for all of these projects. Before we put that on there, let's add a, and if you order $75 or more, you will get a mystery box full of goodies, plus the tutorial. Okay, I'm just punching a little hole right there to hang our ornament from. I'm gonna add dimensionals to the back of this. I think this was the top because of the point of the star went there. We're going to add this right like that. I think that looks about even. And then I'm going to bring a piece of our gold twine in. Oops, couldn't find it. This is our gold and silver trim combo pack. And I'm just going to um, put this through here. Okay, let's get this. There we go. And this would be a nice tag, or you can make them to use as ornaments and pass them on to your friends as a Merry Christmas greeting. This one about the same length, so we need to take a little bit off this one. Okay, so there is our sweet little ornament, and then you can add something on the back here. You could stamp or sign it, whatever you'd like to do, ornament or gift tag. Okay, 